Here we go for a little channel cat fishing down one of my favorite creeks. Usually when we go channel cat fishing, we'll bring our kayaks. We'll paddle down this, this one little creek in particular until we find little sandbars like this one here. Oh, yeah. And we'll just cast our baits. Oh, yeah. Another up one. along those edges, usually them channel cats and some of these bins, they'll be just posted up right head. along the banks in the little deep deep holes and drop-offs. And as you can see in the background back there, there's a pile of sticks. I just threw this bait right over there against them sticks. And as soon as they hit the bottom, I was hooked up pretty quick. Usually we'll keep four or five cats for dinner, release all the rest. We like to keep plenty of cats to come back to. Hey guys, rivers are up. We're just gonna be doing a little channel cat fishing today. And, uh, I just threw this pole out, and you can see we already got one on. So this is gonna be our deal today: is channel cats. Um, anytime rivers come up, when these little bitty creeks and streams rise, that is your chance to go get on some of these fantastic channel cats. It's just a blast. And, uh, I'm just going to get a few for a little fish fry. And it's real simple to do when the waters are up. A nice little channel cat right there. And on the first cast, it hits the bottom. It doesn't take long to get a hook up in these small creeks. Some of these creeks we've caught. 50, 60 channel cats in a few hours, and we just wade along, find these little deep holes like you see here. We drop down a little piece of cut bait, light tackle, and it usually don't take long to get a catfish. And most of the channel cats run anywhere from one to three pounds. Every now and then we'll get a we'll get a five or six. When I'm doing this channel cat fishing, the first thing I'm looking for are these log jams like this. Big piles of trash where fish can hide under. Logs, like the one you see here. Underneath that log, it's about five or six feet deep, and those channel cats just kind of pile up in those deep holes. Now, you would think underneath these log jams it would be really snaky, but it's really not. Most of the stuff is all floating debris, and underneath, you can see there's really not a whole lot to get snagged on. It's usually just a big washout underneath these floating piles of debris. Those channel cats are just waiting in ambush right underneath this grass. As the day goes on, cat fishing's obviously is going to get a little slower, so we just kind of stick our rods in the ground. We throw them along structure lines, and we just kind of sit back and wait for the bite. And if we haven't caught a catfish in 10 or 15 minutes in that area, we'll pick up and we'll, we'll move on down. But this spot, this spot's usually a really good, really good area. Right along that bank line over there is yeah. probably about five or six feet deep, and it produces catfish like that pretty regular. But as soon as you can throw that bait out there, usually they'll hit. We probably caught six or seven cats out of this hole before we moved on down the line to the next spot. And we've got about seven or eight spots up along this little three or four mile stretch that we fish. And we fish it pretty regular. By the end of the day, you can expect to have a pretty good stringer of fish. These channel cats are great to eat, and if you don't take more than you need, you can usually come back and there will always be plenty to catch. You can look forward to having a good stringer of fish like this.